Hey everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week and you guys are doing well. You're enjoying summer if you are from here in New Zealand or you're enjoying like winter, autumn, wherever you are in the rest of the world. I am doing a house tour video today. Um, a lot of you guys want to see this. Even people in real life, friends and family want to see an updated house tour video. I love watching these too. Like they get me so inspired. They make me want to do up my home and get new things. It inspires you to make like your comfort space to, yeah, just feel comfortable and to be homely and just to make you feel good. So I'm actually filming on my new iPhone 15 Pro Max, by the way, guys. I just really like this phone. Like, I feel like it's better than the DSLR when it comes to filming like vlogs or stuff outside of my beauty room without a ring light. I think it's really good. I don't have it on the highest um, quality, by the way, because I that will take forever to download to the computer. But anyway, thought I'd let you know I'm just doing it on my phone today. So yeah, today I'm just gonna show you around the house. It has been four and a half years since we moved into our new home. This is a new build. Um, we are based in the Bay of Plenty near Tauranga. I'm not gonna say exactly where obviously just just in case like you know you never know and I do have some stalkers so yeah <laughs> but anyway um so yeah I live near the Tauranga region in the Bay of Pliny um this home is four and a half years old we actually built this um we didn't like choose any of the designs or anything it was already like pre-designed um, but it's great for our first home. Like, we think it's really good. It's comfortable. It's um, double garage. It's uh, three bedroom and uh, one bathroom. Oh, two toilets, one bathroom. It's classed as one and a half bathrooms. So, um, but we did all of the outdoor stuff ourselves. We've actually just finished like all of the outdoor landscaping and gardening. So I was like, well, what perfect time to film this video. And I cleaned the house this morning, so hopefully it's nice and clean for you guys. And thumbs up this video if you want to see more like this, because I love filming videos like this. I find it so fun. And obviously here on my YouTube channel, we're not just about like beauty and makeup. We're about lifestyle, travel, etc. And by the way, I just have to FYI, don't mind my fake tan. Like, yeah, I look very bad. Like, I went crazy with the fake tan. I'm so, so, so tan right now. Like, it looks a bit crazy. I'm like super dark to the point where this is my darkest foundation that I could find. So don't mind that. I don't want you guys being like, oh, your face is lighter than your body. Yes, I know. I'm about to scrub off this tan. It's like patching off and my skin's peeling. So anyway, if you want to watch my 2024 updated house tour, then just keep on watching. Okay, this is all I'm showing at the front of the house. Yes, the lawn needs to be mowed because we just mowed it not long ago and it's summer here. So the lawns are growing really crazy. Um, letterbox there. We need to pull this one out because we replanted this one, but it died and I tried to sell this tree. Had no luck. Um, but anyway, these look so much better. Before, it was like overgrown and it had huge plants here. So we got these little guys here and these spotlights and it makes the front of the house look so much more clean and better um so we're just gonna buy another one of these and put it there which we should have done in the beginning because that one looks random and our driveway is like really small by the way like look how small our driver is so that's no good we actually have a shared driveway um here is the front um yeah little plants in there we did our own gardens we put this gate in ourselves it's really good it's 1.8 meters so yeah, that is the front. We don't actually have too much section, but that's okay because we don't come out here anyway, apart from to check the mail. <laughs> so I also got another gate in there. So you can actually go through that gate, um, which is good, but we don't ever use that gate. So front of the house, so we've got our own little doorbell <laughs> and the mat says, you shall not pass. Everyone always finds that so funny. And we're going inside now. Okay, you guys are currently at the front door, but um, this is what you see when you first open the door to our house. So I really like our open home, our open home, our open living space. And we've got a little mirror here on the side. And I got this, I don't even know where I got everything from. I think Spotlight or something. Um, and yeah, most things in this house are from either Kmart, the warehouse, Spotlight, or warehouse stationery. Um, yeah, <laughs> or Target. <laughs> okay, so we start with this, and we've got my little plants here. I've got my incense, my little cactuses, some skull candles that everyone always likes, and these fake orchids. 
Um, down here we've got a cat litter. So we used to have two here by the front door, but um, Mina would just shit in the corner. Got my little plant in the corner here. I've got so many plants in my house. This one is from my friend Shaney. And this cupboard here is just um, like in the front cupboard. Like we've just got everything stacked in here. Mostly travel stuff, suitcases. And it's also got my sister and her partner Matt's stuff because they're currently living in Thailand. So we're actually just looking after a lot of their stuff at the moment. Okay, so when we come here, we've got this first nook. So we have this, what I got from the Tauranga Home Show. I really like this. It's so beautiful. All made of shells and power, and I just had to get it. I think it's just stunning. And on this side, I still have wedding photos all over the house. I just love this photo here, me, mum and dad. It's so funny. Um, me, Matthew and his nephews, and me and my best friend, Cass and me, Matthew, and his sisters in that frame. Down here we have the Dyson. Um, this one is the Dyson Gen 5 Detect Absolute, so it was like the most expensive one we bought that last year. We had to get a really good one because our carpet gets full of cat hairs. It doesn't look bad now because Matthew actually vacuumed this morning, thank goodness. Um, and then here we have our toilet. So this is classed as the half bathroom. Um, I love this little toilet. We've got this little plant. This is called the Mind Your Business plant. It's actually from Matthew's Nana. Um, so I put that there and it's a creeper. So it will like creep and it'll keep growing across the wall. I've got my little skull candle here. And then I put up this mirror. It's from Bunnings. And originally this house wasn't didn't have the sink, so I actually asked them to install this, and they forgot to include it on the bill. So we technically got the sink installed for free, and of course I didn't say anything, because, you know, <laughs> free sink! So yeah, we actually got that for free. Um, so yeah, we got all of that, and then when you turn this way, you have our spare bedroom. Um, it's a bit of a storage room at the moment. We don't have that many people stay, if so, it will be my friends after like a night out of drinking or a festival or something. Um, just got some PR packages down there because I get sent so many and I have nowhere to store them. Um, so yeah, all this bed here. This like throw is from Kmart and these pillows are also from Kmart. Lamp is from Kmart. Clock is from Kmart. Kmart is great. Um, need to clean the fence and the windows out there. It's a job that I have left because look at all the spider webs. And the wood under the fence out there is because Henry was getting out through the gaps and we try to stop him, but he's too smart and he always escapes. <laughs> um, so this is the storage space. There's our 65 inch TV that blew the LCD screen. We've just left it here. And there is a big mattress from this bed because I've got an Emma Sleep mattress under here. So it's way comfier. Need to get rid of this one. Oh, I'm actually going to move this so you can see what's behind here. So we actually had a cute little setup here. We got a frame, you know. Oh, there's um, our Japanese homestay student that we used to have. Mum, uh, Dad, me and Becca, my uncle, me and Becca at um, Bay Dreams one year, me and Monique at a Halloween party. We've got me at Fiji, some good memories, and... Me, Megan, and Cass, and her sister, Nicole, Megan's sister, that was on her hen stew. Down here, I've got a nice frame that I made for Uma a few years ago um, on Christmas. And I spent so much time with this, and she's passed away now, but my uncle gave it back to me to keep and just always look back on those cool memories. And in here, we've just got a shelf. Like, we've got plants from Kmart. Everything's from Kmart. That hexagon frame's from Kmart. Um, this mirror down here, oh, we've just got more like, we've just got more frames and we actually had a nice setup behind there, but yeah, it's just covered with this big mirror and dream catcher from my sister. She got this from Bali. And then also we've just got this frame here and in here, this is our fitness cupboard. So like, look at this, this is the state of it. I was an Amen affiliate for two years. I have so much fitness gear, it's a joke, and I've still got my wedding dress here from nearly two years ago, and it still hasn't been washed. So I still have not got this dry cleaned, like, I'm, I want to have a look at this. So, this has just been sitting in here, and as you guys might know, we had a cyclone for our wedding, 
and my dress got so 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 dirty oh my gosh like look at that so i still haven't even dry cleaned my dress it is like black like that is crazy that's how muddy our day was like whoa and i've never dry cleaned it and it's been nearly two years and our second year wedding anniversary is coming up next month so whoop, whoop. <laughs> but anyway here's all my fitness gear most of it is from Eamon. I love Eamon so much and I actually use this for the gym, Matthew Swiss ball and some clothing storage, <laughs> Matthew when he was a baby, oh my gosh, look at that, his nana gave that to him, so cute, he was such a cute little baby, um, so yeah, that is that, um, and then here is where dreams are made of, <laughs> this is my beauty room, um, I love my beauty room so much, I will do an in-depth tour of this like another time, but I will show you, oh, turn on the light. So I've just turned the lights on for my mirrors, but like, look at this. This is my favorite room of the house, of course. It is my office space and beauty room. Um, I got these shelves from Ikea. And yeah, I just love this space so much. This mirror is so huge. Um, I also got this from Ikea online. I just love this mirror. You can see like everything. Oh. Looks like I got a wedgie. <laughs> ah. um, so yeah, this is like a really cool space. I love it so much. Um, we've got some things up here. And like, look at this plant. I got this from my friend Shani as well. I'm so grateful that you gave it to me. Some liquid lipsticks down in there. Some Tarte cosmetic stuff. These are all Jeffree Star, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Nix and Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. All these Juicy Couture perfumes, which I was... Um, scent i've worked with juicy couture like five times i'm so grateful um and yeah we've got this little cabinet down here and some lipstick stuff and it's crazy because all of the stuff i was mostly sent this was back when i was like you know doing super well i mean i'm still sure i'm doing well but there's so many like content creators out there now um and i'm not like on all these pr lists anymore and stuff but i used to get sent a whole bunch of stuff i actually brought all these mark jacobs perfumes myself um but everything else was mostly sent to me which is actually crazy the days when i actually got sent perfume so on this side we have my desk and chair and these drawers and we've got my um glasses holders a lot of people ask where these are from i think i got them from ebay and all of these OPI nail polishes that I was sent, like, yeah, that's crazy. I actually put them all in, like, color order, like, the best that I could. Got some more glasses and got some photos here. Me and my friend Shaney and me and Sachin, look at that. And, oh, that's my wedding perfume. I just love this. It reminds me of my wedding as well because I, like, I had a dress like this that, like, shaped my body really well. Um, and this is really special to me. I feel like framing this. This is what I won when I got the little ball in the hole in Japan after a temple and you get like your wish kind of come true, like your fortune. And it's really hard for people to get it in the hole. And I actually did. And they gave me this letter after I got it in and they, and it says business is prosperous. And that was what I wished for. So that's actually crazy. Um, there's me at the Face Awards. Next Face Awards back in 2018. I got to the top six. That was my final look. Matthew printed them on canvas for me. I really love this. Like I went through so much effort making those wings and that headpiece. Like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I got these from a store in Mount. I think it's called Flux Boutique. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah, I love these. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Do what you love. And another um, picture of me at the Face Awards. This was my top 30 look. I just absolutely love this to this day. L'Oreal frames in there. I got the, those when I got sent L'Oreal. All my Kylie lip kits up here when I bought Kylie lip kits when they were like first come out. That was the old packaging. Crazy. And these prints are from Canvas Corner. I did a collaboration with them. I absolutely love these prints. They just remind me to hustle hard and be determined and motivated and keep smashing my goals. Um, here's my little like achievements shelf. So we've got my Minnie Mouse ears, which we wore to Disneyland in Japan. 
um, Nick's Face Awards, I won the award for inspiration. Um, some IBI Beauty Awards, we've got, um, I won Best Full Face Makeup Artistry in 2018 and Best Special Effects Makeup Artistry in 2018. We've got the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Controversy Collection in here and in here. Um, that collection was like the biggest in the world. It went crazy. I even got featured in Shane Dawson's video on a series, which was like crazy to me. <laughs> and also, we've just got some more things down here. I brought that MAC kit and I got sent that Anastasia box. Um, and down here, I'm very proud because I've got all my awards for the IBI Beauty Awards. So this was my latest one. I didn't enter last year because you actually have to pay to enter and my money was like low at the end of last year because we spent on so much travel and just got back from Japan. So I didn't enter, but I'll be entering this year. But this is from last year. Um, I was a finalist in um, Makeup Artistry Best Unconventional. So I, I entered in my pink snake look, like my creative snake, and I got finalist for that. Finalist for Best Creative Unconventional Makeup, probably another one of my you know, crazy looks, um, 2019 in the category of best eyes, so I did like Instagram, like the Instagram logo themed eyes, and yeah, that got me a finalist, um, finalist in the category of best molage injury makeup, so I did a sliced 3D look on my mum, um, and I, oh no, I think I won for that. Best special effects makeup artistry. That was for the sliced look on my mum. That was using scar wax. I can't remember what this one was for. Oh, I think this was for the exposed hand bones or the exposed arm bones that I did. And then we also have finalist um, in the category of best creative unconventional makeup, which I think was this one up here. I entered in that look and I got a finalist in the IBI Beauty Awards, which is a international beauty competition for hair and makeup so cat tower all these drawers i'm not going to do like a whole makeup tour but all these drawers are like full of makeup um so yeah full of makeup it's crazy and it's funny because i've got so much but i only use the same old thing um so yeah we got my brushes my Spinning lipstick tower from Zara Beauty. Matthew bought me that one year. All the makeup, like, yeah, it's crazy. All nicely organized as well. Oh, except for that drawer. But anyway, this is my favorite space. I love it. Oh, and that up there is from Turkey. It's my evil eye, so it wards off bad spirits and keeps in good energy. So, yeah. So, we come down the hall here, and on the left here, I'm just gonna open the door. On the left here, we have our garage. So we just store heaps of stuff in here at the moment. But there's my car. Matthew's gone out at the moment. He's doing his physio plan at the gym. So he normally parks here, but it's a nice big um, garage. And then we've just got like our laundry here and our storage cupboard here. It's full of junk, I'm not gonna open that. And then this door goes out to the back. Um, lawn at least we have a big double garage because we don't have much of a driveway so this makes up for it because both of our cars can fit in here we're going down this way so we have the linen cupboard i don't even want to open that like it's probably yeah like look at this this needs organizing reality <laughs> reality and then behind there is the big water tank whatever it's like a big double linen cupboard whatever <laughs> Um, over here on this wall, we have more wedding pictures. So these, I love these photos. I love them so much. Our bridal party. Oh, I love this photo. Um, yeah, these remind me of a amazing day. Like, look at these. I just love the way the photos turned out. It's so stunning of a day. Um, and then this is what my best friend gave me for one of my birthdays. It was very meaningful i changed like three photos in here because two of them i couldn't stand i look so horrible so i updated them i know i feel bad doing that i left most of the pictures i literally just changed this one and this one um oh and i changed this one so yeah i changed three but this one this one this one this one and this one were all the original photos but yeah lots of cool memories um this was my friend alicia's hens do there's alicia her wedding, this is when we did promo work. 
This is for a hilly bully party we went to. We go every year. Um, this is our birthday. So me and Cass here always combine our birthdays. There's like a group of my good friends. Me and the family, apart from my younger sister Becca, we walked up the mount. Wedding photo of my best friend's wedding. They're not together anymore, but I still really love that photo. And this is me and my sisters for Halloween last year when we threw a Halloween party for Matthew's 30th. Okay, now we are in here. So this is the bathroom. So we've got a nice big bathroom. Um, I've got my Dyson. And then up here we have a shelf, which I recently put in not that long ago. This one is from Kmart and these power shelves are down from South Island from the, like a marine reserve. <laughs> we weren't meant to take those, but there they are. Um, and these are some air plants. So these are actually real plants that mum gave me. This is fake, but that's real plants mum gave me and they just like live off air. Like it's so random. Um, we have my shells up there from Fiji and this is, oh, the lighting's going bad in here. This is a hot air balloon from Cappadocia. It's made out of pottery and I had to get that. So down here by the window, we've just got all my Bondi Sands, like tanning oils and SPF. Some shell, this is what mum and dad got from a cruise um, to Fiji recently. And all these shells are from Fiji when I went. I'm not allowed to take them back, but I did. <laughs> um, down here we've got all of my bath bombs. Mostly these are from Lush or Bath and Body Works or Kmart. We've got some good like um, body scrubs here. Megan Fairley, Lush, Okana, Glow Lab. So our baths, we barely use our bath by the way, but it's so cool having a bath anyway. All my skincare products over there. Um, so yeah. And here's our sink, don't mind how dirty it is. This is just so full of, like look at this. I got sent most of the stuff in here, so it just gets stored in there really. And I do use some of it, oh bloody toilet. And here's the shower. So, so in the shower, I think we cleaned it not long ago. So here's all the shower products that I use and look how cool this is, hang on. Look at this speaker, I got sent this from Shower Power. It is so cool, like it plays music, like you turn it on and lights come on and yeah, all this lights come on. So you can get this from Bunnings, it's called Shower Power. They're worth, these ones in particular were 247, but that has been amazing to have a shower with. So we've got 360 surround sound and yeah, LED lights, like it's so cool. It just connects to your phone. Actually such a bright bathroom, like I like how it's on the side of the house and it's quite a big bathroom, like I love our bathroom. And that door in there leads to our main bedroom. So this is our main bedroom and as you can see here, photo of me and Matthew um, and that was at the spa in Rarua. Lots of Polaroids. I love this one. This is These are from Japan. Me, Monique and Matthew. I love these. Um, my little childhood teddy bear. Oh, this is sad. This is my Ragnar. This is Ragnar, our cat that passed away. That's some of his tail fur. And it always reminds me of him. And these are real preserved roses in here. I got sent this from La May Roses. I did a giveaway with them. And yeah, it's so cool. It's like A. So all preserved roses. This is worth like $600. Um, we have a photo of here. Oh my gosh, look at this drawing of me and Matthew. It's so funny. That is when we went to Australia. And it's from back in 2015. Because the date's there. I'm glad they have the date. This is all my Coca-Cola lip smackers that I recently was sent and some jewelry, all my jewelry, my jewelry box and look at all my jewelry hanging on this. This is so funny, like this is actually, you probably can't even see it, this is like an orchid tower, like an orchid plant from Kmart and I've literally just turned it into my headband and clip and jewelry holder. So funny. Um, so we've got a mirror here, which I always use. I love this mirror. Why is the screen so dark? It's so annoying how dark the screen is. Okay, never mind. Um, so in here we have 
a little photo of me and Matthew from Cappadocia. I love this. And we've got, I'm on Fiji time, anytime, anywhere. We went to Fiji. Um, this was our 11 year like anniversary of being together. Matthew set up the whole house with balloons. Like, it was so cute and I've always got that frame. Like that is just so thoughtful of him. Um, we've got some frames down in here. Oh my gosh, look, I love this photo. Me and my sisters when we were little. Me and some friends here. Um, Matthew and John Key and his mum. They always like, like found that photo hilarious. So we've got some nice big windows here um in our space like in our room so we can like look out there i love these big windows when we wake up and here is the bed so we've just got a queen bed so we might have to update but yeah this is the bed and um this headboard and this is from kmart like everything's from bloody kmart um and these side tables are also from kmart um so yeah most of the pillows are from kmart as well good old kmart um and yeah here we've just got a frame this is also from that flux boutique um store in the mount i love this photo so much it just reminds me to be free and flexible and to shine and believe in myself i don't know this just this photo symbolizes a lot of things to me um got this from the total the home show i love this um and this is my cupboard with clothes so i hate this cupboard because it's literally just a single cupboard like we need a walk-in cupboard here is all the clothes and there is all my shoes down there and then back here you've got like shelving with more clothes and shoes and same with this side or matthew's side isn't it funny though that matthew's side's like here onwards goes down to there and then that's all my side <laughs> But he's claimed these drawers, like, he's got the bottom two drawers. He doesn't have much clothes anyway. He's got the bottom two drawers and I've got all the rest. <laughs> you walk through here. So our bedroom is just, um, oh, our bedroom's just in there. And you walk into here, into this open plan area. So we have the kitchen. So I love our kitchen space so much. Um, it's, like, good enough. Oh, my God, our train of hearts back there it is crazy. I feel like I can't put this on the stand because it's not going to work like that. I'm just going to turn these around. So here's the kitchen. So we've got um, plants, hair bottle, all our stuff. Um, cat bowl, bin, our little cupboard. There's Matthew's 21st key. I love it. Um, and over here, look at all this. These are all our memories. Um, lots of memories on the fridge, which remind us of good times. This was in Japan when we went street cart racing. These magnets are from Japan. We've got turkey, like an Istanbul magnet. This was for my hens do. We had the best time ever in Queenstown. Um, and the jet boat, that was when me and Matthew went on our honeymoon. Honeymoon. Fiji, when me and Matthew went, that was for his 30th. Um, this was for our honeymoon as well, down in the South Island. Fiji for Matthew's 30th, Fiji, Turkey, best time ever, and Fiji. I love this photo of me in the caves. Sawa Ilao caves, I friggin' love that. Um, so, yeah, this is the kitchen. Nothing, like, huge, but big enough for us to cook and nice and modern. And, yeah, the chain of hearts, I stuck, like, all over this roof. Everyone's like, how did you stick it on? I literally just used blue tack, and it's been, like, falling off the roof. So there's, like, a piece of blue tack. Um, it's been falling. Oh, there's a piece and there's a piece of blue tack. It's been falling because it's been so hot and muggy. But yeah, my goal is to grow this. It's all coming from this pot, by the way. So my goal is to grow this like all around the house. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we've got, oh, need to vacuum that floor. Um, we've got our knives and fork drawers and everything in here and everything soft clothes, which is so good. I love that dishwasher cupboard space yeah good cupboard space everything's like closes nice and soft little window out here we just look out to a fence because that's how close we are to the neighbors <laughs> um oh and then over here we've got more wedding photos so i loved this one of me and matthew and i love this one this is one of my favorite photos like us laughing together which I really like because it's like just us to a T. I love that photo. It's so natural, so beautiful. And this one, I just love. 
like I don't know I just love this angle of me this is before I got my nose done but I still love my wedding pics like I think I look so good like oh my gosh look at this dress my dress was just elite like it was so stunning I loved my dress I felt like a Barbie princess <laughs> um so anyway oh my gosh so speaking of wedding photos so over here's out there's another cat toilet down there here's our picture frame area so we've got the family oh my gosh look at me and my sister becca when we were younger um we used to almost look like twins look at our hair white blonde that was with one of our old dogs me and my sisters when we were younger as well um there's another photo of me and matthew and fiji i have to put on the side me and the family <laughs> oh my gosh this photo is so funny matthew and his mom and his nephew all pulling the fingers um there's my opa me and mum, me and my sister me and Cass oh my gosh look how old this photo is I used to own Peking Ducks I love that photo and Matthew running with his nephews there's Ragnar in there this is his um ashes box it was like this cost so much it was like 270 but like look at that so it's Ragnar rags his state and it's quite heavy and I got feathers in there on there because after he passed away like there was just a crazy amount of feathers coming into the house and all outside and I just knew it was a sign of him. Okay, we've got an amethyst here which I got for Matthew's birthday. He's like obsessed with crystals. This was like so expensive but I absolutely love it. It was like $600 for that bad boy. Some aloe vera which I got sent in a PR package and Alexa is right here so she'll turn on when you want her to turn on. <laughs> um, oh and I love this by the way. This is like one of my favorite Sorry, things. I don't oh. know that. Hang on. You can like change the color of this. I got this. I can't remember what it's from. Nebula. I think it's called Nebula online. And it's so cool. It's like jellyfish that go around in there. And you can like change the color. This is fake jellyfish, by the way. I remember when people were like, is that real? I'm like, no, these are not real jellyfish. Some more wedding photos. So... We've got me and my friend Shaney. She deserved to be put in a frame because I wish I had her in my bridal party. Um, and here's some me and my bridesmaids, and me and my bridesmaids, me and my sisters, me and Matthew. Like, I love this photo. It's so beautiful. Um, I love this photo. Oh my gosh. I just love our wedding photos so much. Like, look at this with the Bonneville in the back and our umbrellas. I mean, some family pics, all my uncles and aunties, Matthew's nan and pop um, on both sides and his side and my mum and dad and Matthew and his mum. So yeah, very cool. By the way, before I continue, I just realized that the whole time I had so much fingerprints on my bloody back of my screen. So I'm so sorry if this video has been like blurry or not high quality. I've just wiped it now. I am literally so stupid, but I literally just wiped it. So I'm sorry in advance that that was the case, <laughs> but I've cleaned it now. So we're going to get back to the video. Oh my gosh. I'm so silly. It was so blurry. But anyway, this is the dining table and look at these chairs. This is reality. It's like covered in cat claws because in our time we've owned three cats and yeah, we're like, what's the point in getting new seats if they're just going to claw them up? Like, look at this. They probably wouldn't do it now, but we need new seats. <laughs> so this is our middle center con. This is from Palmer's. I love these candle stands. And this is real pottery from Turkey. Um, this used to be what the kings and queens use. You put your arm in the middle and like pour them their wine. <laughs> That's what that was. And mum gave me this table runner not long ago. Oh my God, the quality is just so much better. Are you kidding me? It was just like so covered in friggin' fingerprints. Okay, over on this side, we have some house decor. I got this from my secret Santa. Um, some more toy toy, some plants. I'm obsessed with plants. Oh my gosh, this is our Moss Lane Beard Pong Championship. So we need to print people's names. So we need to do more beer pong. But we bought that trophy for Matthew's 30th and we had like a beer pong competition. Um, that was so fun. My friend Charlotte and Izzy ended up winning that. Um, we have the fish tank, which I cleaned not long ago. So they're all hiding in there. But um, yeah, this normally looks more clean at night. Oh, look, there's one in there. All my loaches. Look, they're both hiding. 
there's one sticking out. They're both in these um, SpongeBob SquarePants things. Oh, they're going crazy at the back. Um, this is a frame I brought in Cambodia. So this was CM Reap and I brought that frame. So that's really cool. I'm glad I brought that back from Cambodia. Um, more wedding photos. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this photo of me. I just am obsessed with that one. Us laughing, which I love. More wedding photos. Oh my gosh. I just love these. Look at this. Our wedding photos are so special. It's, I've got them all over the house. <laughs> um, our cat tower, which is actually scratched up to death. They love this cat tower. They use it all the time. Um, and there's a cat scratch board. Down here, I got this from the Hamilton Plant Place. Look, I just had to buy it. I love cats. I'm obsessed. Some rocks there and amethysts. Um, some photos. Oh my gosh, that's when I was in a farmer's campaign with all the beauty influencers. The all-time beauty influencers. Oh my gosh. And now there's just so many, but these were like all the OGs from back in the day. Um, LBTQ Awards. Us at our friend's wedding. Um, oh, I got these from a parent and from work when I left Kiwi Kids Educare Waihi, the early childhood centre. So one's for creativity and one's for happiness, which I love. Um, some real cactuses in there. This one don't look too good. This one's dying off. This one will always stay elite. <laughs> um, this is real. This is my chain of peas, but we have a frog tank and caterpillars got loose and literally like started eating this. So this is all I have left of it. But yeah, that was actually really healthy before the caterpillars started bloody eating it. <laughs> in here, oh my gosh, look at this. These move little geishas in the cattail. They normally move more than that. Hang on. Look, and then the cattail moves. That is so cute. I had to buy that. This is like our little travel shelf. So we got this from Bali. It's an original painting. Um, this is from Bali. It's real silver. And this is from Cambodia. It's it's made out of sandstone. This is from Fiji. Yes, we bought it back. <laughs> and this is fake, even though it looks real. And we've got our cake topper for our wedding on there. And see all the two, 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 twos. It all lined up. Um, love this. This is from Fiji. Um, and Matthew brought me this for one of my birthdays. I absolutely love it so much. This amethyst is so cool. I love this plant. This one will always do well. We've got our aircon there and our heat pump. And then here is the rest of the lounge. So it's a nice big open plan. We've got a huge 75 inch TV. Um, Monstera from my friend. I killed this plant off accidentally. This is from one of my old work colleagues. We caught up like in the last year and this was, they gave me this for my birthday. But look, the leaves are coming through. Thank goodness. So hopefully we can revive him. Um, this couch was so cheap. It was like $800. And there we have Henry. A hey, hen. Hen. You gonna say hi? You're so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> um, so we have the couch here. Oh my gosh, you can see all the cat prints where they're being jumping. Like, look how cute. Look how cute. Little coffee table. We got our... Turkish lamp from Turkey. I still need to find a bulb for that. I absolutely love that lamp. I had to get one. Um, that's from Fiji. Fiji. Like, look at this. Yeah, and um, this is from a PR package I got sent. It's preserved real flowers. And this is a Japanese fan in here, which we got given from my homestay student. So it's almost like our little travel table as well. Um, bean bag. Over there's our little frog tank. I'm not going to show you. Um, how disgusting it is in there. I really need to change it. I feel sorry for our frog. He's in there. I'm not going to show you him. He's probably really dark because of how dirty he is in there. I did the fish tank the other day, so I need to do the frog tank. But we feed him real live mealworms. Um, we've got our JBL speaker there, which my sister gave when she went overseas. A little shelf, like a little spyro in our Charmander nutcracker, which is hilarious. Me and my best friend always, like, go crazy with this nutcracker. Um, Xbox controls. And, yeah, we've just got this plant here, which I got from my work colleagues when I left Kiwi Kids. So I'll always keep that because it's very special to me. And 
this Buddha down here, which I also got from that Mount place. Fuck, I don't know what it's called. Importer. That's what it's called. Okay, that's where the fake orchids are from, and that's where um, this is from, the Importer. It's located in the Mount. So I love this area because it's so, like, big and open. Like, it's our big open space. Um, and, yeah, I just love how open it is, and it feels so homely now. Oh, my gosh, look at the chain of hearts. It just adds a bit of character. Like, some people might not like it, but... I'm obsessed and everyone that comes in compliments on the chain of hearts they're like oh my goodness like how did you grow it that long oh and in this corner here we also have walk on the wild side i just love that quote so i put it in the frame photos dedicated to matthew and his crew um we've got him and his groomsmen and i love these photos they're so cool this one cracks me up hang on can i get it focused oh my gosh look at them drinking their beer in the bloody golf cart that's so funny and there's all our main family a uh, few couldn't come because this was during like covid time so yeah but we still had 85 people come so we were so lucky to get that many come during covid times because we originally had like 140 people okay so here's our big sliders i love our sliders they're so like big and heavy and they're double insulated so they keep the heat in the only thing is it gets really hot in summer okay so here is our outdoor area the sun has come out again which is really good um the lawns were mowed not long ago but they are already like crazy again so don't mind them they need to be mowed so this is the outdoor area um and i only just did the gardens like two weeks ago with mum so i'm so glad i did it so i can show you guys now so here is our outdoor garden and yes these are real goat skulls in the garden um these are dwarf manukas they produce these beautiful like pink flowers down here um yes another goat skull and yeah so we did this garden not long ago and it looks so much better so up here so there's our bedroom in there and yeah, it's all dark brick. There's the garage. There's our bins, all our curbside bins in the Star Wars Barbecue Matthew one. Um, washing line out here. It's such a cute little section. Oh my gosh, we really need to do the weed eating. So yeah, it's a really private, our section, which I really like. Like no one can see you out here. We've got these little tall trees, which I really like. And all these flaxes in here. So we did this all ourselves. It looks so much better if the bloody lawns were mowed. <laughs> um, so, oh well, this is reality, I guess. So this is our deck. It's a nice area. I love our deck, our sitting, seating area. Um, yeah, Matthew built this deck with one of his friends. Um, and our gardens, we've got like little Buddhas in there. Um, all our trees, made this privacy wall. I just planted this lemon tree in here yesterday. So I got sent this with a long white package. So we put the little lemon tree there on the deck. So hopefully that grows. I love this privacy wall because as you can see over here, we've got like neighbors, but it's cool because you can see all the mountainside now. Like we should not be able to see that. Um, out here, we've got our outdoor mirror. I got that from Kiwi Kids when I left. And I love this so much. Like here's our dragonfly um i got that online somewhere but it's made out of metal it's quite expensive like 220 dollars but um i think we got oh we got some money towards it for christmas um for coming in our new home so that was from mum and dad yeah and this is our plants i need to weed that weed down there i need to weed this whole garden like our weed mats like no effect right now um, these need scrubbing, these boxes, but I got all of this set from uh, Harvey Norman, I think. Yeah, and this was also from Harvey Norman. I love this. You can like put the shelter over top. We got our little deck umbrella, which I've been using lately. Oh, I did this not long ago with mum, my little succulent garden in here. I just need to get one more like in this side. There's like a mini baby one. There's a mini baby one there in there. So yeah, I'm so onto my plants lately. These are money trees. So the thing is, if you have two, which I do, you have luck with money apparently. <laughs> okay, so now to show you this outdoor space down here. So we have some fruit trees. So we have our guava tree. 
Like, look how many guavas are growing on it. Wow, they've like sprung out of nowhere. We've got so many guavas on this. Look at that. Crazy. And by the way, we put this green netting above here to try and stop Henry from escaping the section, but he always does. But we just left it on because I thought it looked cool. It looks kind of like a windbreaker, kind of like for the fruit trees. Kind of adds some character to the horrible green fence. <laughs> this is our peach tree. I only just got the last of the peaches off. Um, it's a dwarf peach tree and that actually does really well. This one hasn't sprouted yet. This is our apricot. So it leaves really well, but it hasn't flowered or produced any fruit yet. It's probably like four years, three years old. My little herb garden down here. Oh my gosh, I forgot we had coriander. Some have died off by the looks, but we've got my coriander down in there. Um, and we've got my parsley and then we've got some thyme, which is dead, but there's still some bits on there. Um, and then here we've got my... Um, nectarine tree which is actually fruited like oh my gosh look these are finally getting bigger there's not many on there but there's enough for a handful so we've got two like there oh we've got one at the back there we've got one there so there's probably like six nectarines on this whole tree so i'm assuming next year it's going to do so much better because that was like our apples. This is our apple tree. So we only had one apple on it last year. And this year, there is so many apples. I've already picked two off for mum. But like, look at all these apples. There's so many. Like, I'm stoked with these apples. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of my apples. Look at them. They're actually so big. There's a whole cluster of them down there. There's one in there. Yeah, so there's a lot of apples on there this year and, and I already have picked like two off. So very stoked with that. This one's not a fruit tree. I wish I got a, a fruit tree. This is slowly growing. Um, it's meant to be like a shade privacy tree, but it hasn't really grown much, but I just like it anyway. Like it's a nice, pretty looking tree. And then here, oh, here's our mandarin tree. Look how good our mandarin tree is doing. Can you guys see all these like green mandarins that are about to, like look at these. They're like literally everywhere. Like it's crazy. We'll probably get over a hundred mandarins on that. <laughs> our veggie gardens, which I did not long ago. Very proud of myself. Look at our tomatoes. They are flowering. Um, got beans in the middle, tomatoes there. Look at all our spinach. It's actually growing so much. I only just planted these like two weeks ago. Spinach in there. Our beans. Look at our beans. They're growing. Oh, this one's... Oh, that one's dying off because it already had a bend in it when we bought it. But yeah, these beans are starting to grow. I'm going to have to put them in another place so I can um, help them climb up a creeper. Oh, look. Got some orange mandarins on there too. Um, here's some lettuce in here. So I've got these covers on here so that the snails don't get into the lettuce. But the lettuce is already going crazy. And then we've got our capsicum. And this one was already here. Like, look, we've got some turning orange. So cool. And I made this little shelter because it, like, protects them from the sun. Because they weren't doing too well with, like, such extreme sun on them. So, yeah, they are little veggies. I'm so proud. Um... And then we did all this ourselves, so this used to be just all grass, but now it is all flaxes. So yeah, flaxes and all the tiles and all the white stones, compost bin, um, and yeah, that's our unit for the aircon. But yeah, I need to go and like weed this whole ledge. Um, yeah, need to do that. But yeah, there's our back gate down there and that's the side of the house. So yeah, I don't really come down here much, but we thought we'd make it look cool anyway. So yeah, that's outdoor of the, the outside of the house. Hose, and that's this angle. Oh, there's a rotten apple down there that's fallen off the tree. So yeah, I love our outdoor area. It's all we need. It's got our fruit trees that we need. It's got a nice entertainment area. We've got the mountains all around. Um, yeah. It's really cute. I just need to mow the lawns. So yay, that was our whole house tour done. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed filming it. Um, when I film it, it just makes me realize like how proud I am to own a home. Like I know that it's a privilege to have a lot of people, especially in New Zealand, can't afford a house because it is so, like the house prices are so high and the interest rates are so high right now. So I know that a lot of people can't afford a home. Like we were lucky because we got this when we did um and that we got this like yeah four and a half years ago so it was before covid times we got this when the interest rate was like just under three percent um i think it was like 2.89 so we were really lucky and this was really low like a few hundred thousand lower than what houses are now so we were just lucky in that way um our mortgage has gone up recently but we're still you know managing um and yeah, I love this house. Like it makes me feel so comfortable. It's where I work from. Obviously I work from home. So I need a space where I can feel like inspired and motivated and just comfortable and safe. It's great as well because our whole section is fenced off. I know we've got like really close neighbors, but our whole section is closed off. We're really private. The only like house that could probably see us is the one that's like up there, like above the veggie gardens. Um, but no one else can see us, not even when we're in the backyard. Um, and the cats like are confined, like, well, the cats can stay in. Henry always just jumps over that green netting though that I showed you, but Mina can't get out, so that's good um and yeah i just love our home and still set up your house and make it look so nice that like you don't need to buy like crazy bougie things from like really good like websites and online stores you can literally just go on trade me or get secondhand stuff or just go to places like kmart like kmart has everything <laughs> i'm so lucky as well because i'm a creative and i'm an artist so not only like am I good at like doing makeup and painting, like if you are creative and an artist, you can see other things. So I'm really good at like interior design and like landscaping and gardening and like setting stuff up. Um, and I guess that's just because like if you've got a good eye for detail, like if you are a creative, then that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, everyone's like, oh my gosh, your house looks so nice. Like it looks like a show home. Like. I, I mean, I don't think so. It probably doesn't look as great. Yeah, everyone always says, like, it looks like a show home. You've done really well at setting it up. Like, it looks so good. Like, who does all your outdoor areas and who sets up your house? Like, literally, that was all me. <laughs> oh, Matthew, Matthew obviously helped. Like, he obviously built the deck and the privacy wall. But, um, yeah, literally, um, the setup and stuff comes from a creative person that has an eye for detail. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next on my channel because I will be happy to film up for you guys. And I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye.